Okay, good afternoon everyone in this last session of today. My name is Meijn van. I'm uh, working at Del Terrace. I'm also scientific coordinator of the Flood Probe project, uh, which is one of the projects which is organizing this conference. Uh, we have five presentations because uh, Johannes Wiebowo from the United States was not allowed to fly to the Netherlands. Everyone from the Corps of Engineers was not allowed to come because they had some budget cuts. So at the last minute they were not allowed to go. So unfortunately we don't have that presentation. But we have five other very good presentations. And we will start with Remy Touma from Ersteia, France. Thank you. So uh, I have an even more difficult task than on the previous uh, presentation, where I presented uh, an action of a, a project. And this presentation is about presenting a whole research project, including different axes. So uh, this project is called Dixur, uh, and uh, I, I will uh, now. I know it's a PDF. But the other was a PDF too. Yeah. Oh, great. great. So uh, this project is called Dixur. Uh, the context is about uh, French uh, levees. Uh, levees are great uh, length longitudinal civil engineering rocks in which a single bridge can put into defect and uh, make a failure of the whole protection system. And uh, we recognize the fact that uh, uh, bridges are created by complex failure modes involving many mechanisms, not just as in some approaches and single mechanism, the main mechanism being the classical overtopping, internal erosion, score, and uh, instabilities. Uh, the context in France is we have a ten, about 10,000 kilometers of uh, flood protection levees and more than 2 million people in the protected areas. Uh, most of the structures are old and heterogeneous poorly known, uh, very poorly known, and uh, often poorly maintained with only a recent uh, uh, improvement of this situation. Uh, so, levy performance is evaluation, uh, is based on uh, many skills in engineering, civil engineering, hydraulics, geotechnics, morphodynamics, uh, and other uh, science associated to this. The data necess uh, which is uh, necessitated by this evaluation has a very type of nature and precision, uh, disorder observation, inspection results, uh, geotechnical data, hydraulic data, and all are very variable uh, along the length of the levy. The engineering practices are uh, using a link between localization and relevant data when we uh, discretize the length of the levy. There is always a link with the failure modes involved along a levy. The assessment is linked to the failure modes. And so in, in, in each case there is an uncertainty context. Uh, we have so far no generally accepted step-by-step -step method just like we can have for the design of a dam, we don't have a step-by-step -step approach for uh, guidance for levy assessment. Then, another, on the other side of the levy, on the receptor side, we have uh, also a problem when we want to make a risk analysis of levies. Uh, vulnerability evaluation, which is particularly complex also, the situation is that we have increasing stakes be behind the, uh, the levies and that the failure of the levy can lead to catastrophic situations. 
So far, the, the practice is that we have a census of the receptors in the protected area, mainly buildings and people, uh, an analysis of the potential casualties, uh, and an analysis of financial uh, the damage cost in terms of material assets. But these classical methods don't uh, analyze socio, uh, sociologic uh, they can't integrate the inhabitants' response in case of a flood. The same flood with the same physical description can have in different cities, according to the people, uh, different uh, consequences. And also, most uh, type, a uh, lot of type of receptors are not taken into account. Th these ones that cannot be assessed easily in uh, monetary terms, like environmental or patrimonial uh, issues. Uh, project Dixure uh, worked on uh, these two different accepts on a research basis. Uh, and two axes. Axis one, which was about producing uh, uh, levy uh, assessment indicators, in incorporating uh, the consideration of the data uncertainties. And the second axis was to explore the aspects of vulnerability uh, unusually uh, used in assessments, like social and environmental uh, issues. Finally, there is a third axis in the project, which is a production of a GIS tool for, the, for implementing the results of the first two axes. So in terms of uh, uh, indicator of levy uh, reliability and uh, indicator of uh, uh, protected area, uh, protected area, uh, you know, levy uh, reliability and vulnerability of the protected area. So this is the partners of the project, in, including private companies and local authorities and uh, research institutions in different uh, uh, specialties. So the, the first axis for the development of levy performance uh, indicator uh, including uh, levy bridge uh, modeling using uh, FMEA, so it is uh, functional analysis and failure mode and effects, uh, including the, the different mechanisms involved in the different components of a levy, for instance, like protection, uh, impervious zone, and uh, main levy body. The principle is having uh, criteria, for instance, the criteria levy body permeability, which is being uh, informed by basic indicators like material permeability, the thickness, the, the presence of leaks, and the uh, state and nature of upstream protection sealing. So these are indicators that are part of the method. And then we can have a whole lot of bunch of inf uh, information which relate to one or more of these indicators. Uh, that's the general principle. And the method that was developed during the Dixio project following previous project is the way to go from the, this criteria up to the performance score for each of the mechanisms and scenarios that were chosen by uh, using combination tables uh, between the different criteria. All this is done on the spatial uh, scale. Then uh, a big part of the research work was to integrate the uncertainties in this process. Uh, criteria are in fact evaluated by the experts uh, using the previous, the previously uh, given uh, status indicators and data. When the, uh, when the uh, criteria is evaluated by the expert, the expert gives not only the value on the 0, 10 scale, but also a, uh, a repartition of these values by giving the most probable value 
the 5% quantile and the 95% quantile. And then the software produces for each of these criteria the repartition function, which is then propagated, propagated through the various combination tables, allowing to produce the final repartition of the uh, final index of the uh, indicator for the, uh, the given mechanism. This allows us to uh, quantify the result uncertainty and also, by and also prioritize action of the manager by sensibility analysis on the different criteria, weights and results. I explain this. For instance, if the mean value is bad, you know you have to do something. The manager knows you have to do something on your levy. But according to the uh, repartition function, you can judge the uncertainty of your result. If the uncertainty is too high, the first thing to do is not to make works, but to improve the knowledge of your levy. And by using the sensitivity analysis on the various criteria, you know on which criteria you have to first uh, improve your knowledge or improve your uh, reliability. And this is done for all four uh, main uh, failure modes. On the axis uh, due levy area and vulnerability, uh, we are the first uh, part of the study where we integrated uh, the vulnerability assessment using public data at a general scale uh, li li um, linked to the nature of the asset. And then a multi-scale approach was used uh, for the assessment of social vulnerability, a macro scale using these databases, a meso scale referring to homogeneous community or social groups. At this scale, the assessment uh, uh, is made by aggregating questionnaires that was uh, conducted on the test area in Arles, which was flooded in 2003. And there are also results usable at a micro scale uh, for analysis of each of these questionnaires. We also uh, inquired uh, about uh, vulner uh, environmental vulnerability. Uh, and we uh, produced environmental issue indicators considering uh, the type of protection status and biological index score. In fact, we, we didn't really go too far in terms of vulnerability, but we uh, quite well, uh, sorry, we quite well distinguished a type of indicators of vulnerability without producing the damage functions. And uh, finally, but this is still a work in progress, uh, the GIS tool is still developed, is to integrate all these various results, both in terms of uh, uh, levy uh, assessment uh, indicators, and the result can be seen here all the along the length of the levy. The blue curve is uh, index of the uh, performance score, and the red values are the 5% and 95% reliability uh, score all along the levy. So on this, ex oh, sorry. On this example, uh, we have fixed lengths for analysis. In reality, uh, we have the length on which we test the scores depends on the available data. So every time a, an important data changes, we produce a different score. Uh, the vulnerability indicators are also represented on the map. Uh, so uh, there were great uh, advances done both in terms of uh, indicators for levy assessment and in terms of uh, 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 vulnerability assessment. We, we are coupling this with GIS tool. Uh, 
uh, there are still some perspectives for future research, which is a specialization of social and environmental vulnerability indicators, because so far some of these indexes cannot be summed up at the, at the scale of the protected area. The various scales give results, but it's not really possible to integrate this in a risk analysis. Uh, we also want to integrate in some, uh, in some future project a multi-criteria method for global vulnerability evaluation, <coughs> allowing to make different scenarios for grouping the different indicators. And the uh, GIS tool interface is being developed, but it's, this will be soon uh, available. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone have a question for Remy? No, I have a question. <laughs> is, is the Dixure tool already used and do you know what kind of outcomes are oh, from so the it's a, it's tool? It's a difficult question because yes, it's already used but it's not a public uh, tool because uh, there are private partners uh, which uh, participated in the development and we don't know which will be the status of the final tool if they will sell it, use it in contracts with the help. Uh, they are still not decided the business plan for the tool. Okay. But the, we used it uh, in uh, uh, vali validation tests on cases where already we already have previous assessments and both these companies, private companies, will use it in their own assessments. Okay, then next question about the probability of failures for the levies. Um, is there a number in France that you say, well, in, in general, in France, our levies are one in 100 or one in 500, or is there a probability for the levies in France? And just an average number. The, the, this question goes beyond the, the tool. The, the tool doesn't produce uh, real, uh, per probability, uh, a, per a probability of failure. It, uh, it produces just an indicator on a 0, 10 scale okay. for the various failure mechanisms. The idea when you want to produce uh, a probability of failure is to go from these indexes to the probability of failure. And this must be done by uh, expert rules that will be not uh, determined in every case, but we have to do that once for all. And uh, so Jonathan, the second part of, of your question is uh, that in France we, we have uh, uh, an approach in terms of probability of failure and also uh, uh, in terms of level of protection, we make the distinction mm -hmm. between the level of protection you can have water going into the system and this is not <coughs> necessarily a failure. Okay. And uh, if you have a breach before this level of protection. Okay. And so we, we consider that under 1% for one given flood, uh, the levy is safe. One, under 1%, one but for one period which is given different for each levy, and this flood must be of a higher uh, probability than the protection flood. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. I, I was not prepared because... It's okay. Um, we will go to the next... Do you have a comment? Well, I was going to ask a question, but it doesn't matter. Maybe at the end we have time for last question. <laughs> uh, 